Hey y'all, welcome to another vlog. I am back at home after my road trip, finally back with my vlogging camera, and I'm about to get ready for my first date in 15 years, and I'm so excited. I have to meet him in an hour and a half. I've already taken a shower, shaved my legs, all that stuff. All I have to do is get dressed and put my makeup on and get my stuff together. I also have to feed my dogs and take them out. I'm gonna have to do that early. And then I'm taking an Uber to meet him just in case we get drinks. I do not want to drive. Also, I spent all day cleaning my entire apartment except for the office, I didn't get to it, but I cleaned every other room and I'm gonna give you a clean apartment tour first. All right, we'll start with the kitchen. So here's what my kitchen looks like. Um, ah, crap. That hanging on the wall right there, look how pretty that is. Andrew bought that for me before he left at Earthbound. He actually went there, bought that for me, and brought it to me as a gift. And I'm torn on whether I should keep it or not. I love it so much, I think I'm gonna keep it and just try to wipe it out of my mind that it came from him. And then here's the rest of my kitchen, looking nice. There's a little Mortimer. Oh, more more. Sweet little baby. Sweet little baby boy. Yes, you are. Uh, thank you so much to my subscriber who gave me these kitchen rugs. I love them and I have been using them in my kitchen, obviously. All right, now right behind me is the dining room where I have my plants over there. Uh, my dining table is always kind of messy, I guess. I always have bags hanging on the chairs, a sweater hanging on the chair, and my laptop over there. And then if we move over this way, here's the living room, looking pretty nice, I think. What is it, Belle Belle? You want some attention too? Do you want some attention too? Come here, come here. I can't get you, I can't get you, there you go. There's my precious girl. She got jealous, y'all, sorry. Um, so yeah, here's my uh, writing desk. Over here, looking good. My bookshelves, and I have moved some more of the stuff that my subscribers sent me over here onto these bookshelves. I have this lovely, uh, like, goddess statue that I love. I put it right here in front of my ZZ plant. I have these geodes that someone sent me, my crystal tree that the Mod Squad got me, my uh, cat bookends. So thank you guys so much for all those beautiful things. I really uh, love them and appreciate them. So that's what we got going on over there. I got my plants growing. And uh, yeah, not too much else going on in the living room. <laughs> the dogs are chilling. Oh, I got my uh, grow your own way pillow over here in the chair. If you can see it behind the dogs. Okay, my herb cabinet over here, which still needs stickers on it. And let me turn on the hall light. Okay, so now we're going down the hallway. I got my little laundry area that I really need to get a curtain in front of, okay? Um, over here to the right is my hall bathroom, which I think is looking pretty cute. I hung up these lovely butterfly paintings that I found at the Goodwill bins. Um, it's just... I don't really use this bathroom very much, except for this is where I take my baths, but I don't really use it for anything else. And it's kind of like a guest bathroom. It's my bathtub over here, which I need to close the curtain because I just shaved my legs in there and God knows what that bathtub looks like. All right. The dogs are getting wild, y'all. They got the zoomies. Come here, pups. You got the zoomies? You got the zoomies? Who's got the zoomies? You got the zoomies? You do, you do. <laughs> They're getting wild, y'all. Okay, and then finally is my bedroom, which I know I've shown you before. My bed's all messed up because the dogs have been jumping on it. Um, I got my paintings up there, nightstands with lamps, dogs playing on the bed. That's pretty much it. My bedroom is pretty basic. Oh, I forgot to show you guys this. I don't think I've shown you this. Let me make sure I'm covered because I'm wearing a robe. Um, this full-size mirror right here, my neighbor downstairs gave it to me. She was getting rid of it. She said I could take it for free. So I brought this sucker home. Look how cool that is. It doesn't really match my furniture in here, but I absolutely love it. And now I can get a full body shot of my outfits, y'all. Love it. And then over here, I've got my dresser, TV, and a fan. I never use that TV, but it's there. And then my bathroom in here that I also cleaned today, so it looks pretty good but I need some glass cleaner because my mirror's kind of a mess, but here's my uh, little vanity area where I get ready. And that's what we're about to do now. So 
let's do it. Okay, so I painted my nails wicked. That's what you guys voted for in the live stream last night. It's like blood red black color. I did a really shitty piss poor job. Hopefully he doesn't notice. I'm gonna have to touch this one up because it chipped. Um, and now I'm gonna put my makeup on. So hopefully you guys can see me up there. I had to put you up on a box. So the first thing I do when I'm doing my makeup is to do my concealer. I use Fit Me. This is the same makeup that I used in my morning routine video. I'm just doing it now while I'm getting ready for a date. So I use my concealer all around my mouth area. The area where I usually get facial hair, just in case anything shows through, I want to cover that up. Go pretty heavy down here because this is my problem area. And uh, I'm getting so nervous, y'all. We've been texting a little bit today. And this guy is so nice. He's so smart. And uh, I'm really looking forward to meeting him. I hope we click in real life. I'm trying not to get my hopes up because I have had disappointing dates before. So then I'm just going to use my blender to blend this out a little bit. But I got to say, I can't help but be hopeful. Um, just from the conversations that we've had, we have a lot in common. But not too much. You know what I mean? I gotta hold my nose ring up while I do under my nose. It's also supposed to rain tonight, which makes me very nervous. I don't want to get rained on and look all melted in front of him. But overall, I am very excited um, about going out on this date. Very, very excited. It's gonna be nice to go out and do something fun with somebody on a Friday night. Um, I still don't know exactly what I'm gonna wear, but we'll figure that out in a minute. I gotta keep a, an eye on the time. And shit, I gotta go put my phone on the charger. Hold on. Okay, I got myself a new phone case that we need to put on in a minute. And now I'm gonna use my Fit Me uh, in 112 Natural Ivory Matte, Matte Plus Poreless Foundation. And I just put a little on the back of my hand like this and use my beauty blender to just put it where I think I need a little extra coverage. Um, so anyway, I haven't told you guys where we're going yet. And he picked, he planned such a wonderful date for me. Like I can't even believe it. So we are going to a little occult shop in our town to get our tarot reading and tea leaf reading. And he chose that. And then after that, we're going to go out to uh, my favorite bar. The place that I told him was my favorite bar. Isn't that so awesome? I'm so excited. Um, so yeah, tarot and tea leaf reading by uh, this lady who's been, she's, she's lives in our town and she's been doing tarot readings for like 30 years or something so she's really good at it i can't wait to hear what she's gonna say i'll tell you guys after the date so yes i'm very i'm, I'm just i'm getting so hyped up y'all i'm getting so excited trying to temper my expectations but it's hard because i also feel you know i feel like a teenager because i haven't gone on a real like proper first date with somebody that i like in a long long time all right i got my foundation done so now i'm gonna do my uh maybelline fit me 120 classic ivory powder i just pat that in my skin especially around any areas of my face where there's a lot of movement like my mouth and especially areas where i put concealer but i really just do it all over my face except for my under eyes i look like a corpse right now but i will look better i promise and i look i feel like i look so much like lighter in that camera than i do in my mirror right here yeah, and I got to figure out how long it's going to take uh, for the Uber to come pick me up and drop me off down there. I looked a minute ago and it was going to be like 15 minutes, but I don't know if that's going to change as it gets later in the day. Okay, let me look at my little mirror and make sure I look all right. Now I'm just going to get the concealer and powder off my lips with a washcloth. That makes me look a little bit more alive wipe down my eyebrows because they're thick and they tend to get powder in them. Okay, now I'm gonna do my eyeshadow. And I bought a red lip stain, y'all. I'm so excited to try it. Also a little bit nervous. I'm just gonna do my regular eyeshadow because I don't have a lot of time to experiment right now. So I'm just gonna do what I know works and what I know looks good. So I use this uh, Maybelline Expert Wear Charcoal Smokes uh, Quad. So it has four different colors in it, but I only use three of them. So I start with a fluffy brush and getting the light gray color on there and I just put that all over my lids and just sweep that all over my eyelids and a little bit above the crease. I know I've done this before in a video so I hope I'm not boring you but this is just what I'm doing today to get ready for my date. So I won't go over it too much and I take a flat brush 
and I get this uh, dark gray color right here and I pack it on the brush and then I pack it on my the outer third of my eyelid just like that and then we're gonna blend it in in a second but I'm gonna do that on both sides it looks really horrible right now because I haven't blended it I feel like I'm brushing I just don't want to be late and like I don't want to give a bad impression you know I hate being late and I hate being rushed okay then I'm gonna take a blending brush and I'm gonna blend this out and I know some people say that you should do your um, eyes before you do your before you do your foundation but I don't I do my foundation first and then I do my eyes but and if there's fallout I just use a, a empty brush to kind of wipe it away I'll show you I just use a big fluffy brush like this to just kind of sweep away any fallout off the bottom usually works fine for me and then I'll take my fluffy brush again get some of my powder and I'll use that to blend out any harsh lines around my eyeshadow and then finally my last step is to take an angled brush and I use this black sparkly color down here to go to line my eyes like eyeliner so just get some of that on there and go under my lash line sorry if you can't see me but I gotta turn like this to do it or I'm gonna fuck it up and I don't have time to fuck it up and I also kind of, I've been kind of pulling it out kind of like a wing on the edge. And I think it looks pretty nice. And then just kind of blending it into the top lid. I don't know. I experiment around with it. But I like the way it looks. My battery's about to die. I'll have to go change it. Let me do the other eye. Okay, I'm back. I fixed the battery and I got my eyeshadow done. I think it looks pretty good. Hopefully you can see it all right. I know this lighting's not the best. I don't really have a bathroom lighting set up, so we're just using my overhead yellow bathroom lights. But anyway, I got my eyeshadow done. Then I'm gonna use my e.l.f. Clear Brow and Lash Mascara. I love this stuff. It keeps my brows in place. It works better than any other brand I've ever tried, and it's only like $3 a container, and it lasts for a long time, and I use both sides of it. So I just put that in my brows and just kind of like smooth them out and keep them in place. I've already tweezed them. So I have very thick brows and they get crazy. So I have to keep them tweezed and smoothed out with brow gel. But they usually end up looking pretty good. Then I'm going to use my Maybelline Colossal Mascara. It's the kind in the yellow and purple tube. And I have really long eyelashes too so I usually just do one little coat just to give them a little, little oomph, you know? Don't clump together. Please don't clump together on me now, okay? I'm always afraid, like, my makeup, I'm just gonna fuck up my makeup right before I do something important and I have no time to fix it. All right, gonna do one little coat on the other side. All right, there we go. I'll show y'all how it all looks in better lighting when I get done in here, but I just thought you'd wanna do a get ready with me while I do it. Okay, um, I got my eyes done face done now I just gotta do the lip so I am nervous about trying this out it is L'Oreal Paris I don't know what L'Oreal some kind of L'Oreal I'll put it on the screen because I don't remember what it is and it doesn't say on here but it's some kind of L'Oreal um, liquid lip stain and it's in the color 311 be brilliant I'm going with a red lip y'all I'm going bold and I'm a little nervous I'm gonna do it in my little mirror so I can really see what I'm doing here Oh Lord. Oh my God, y'all. Woo, that is bright, baby. Oh my God. I hope it's not too bright. Holy moly. Well, I said I was going bold, so I'm going bold. It's supposed to be non-transferring once it dries. Okay, y'all, that did not work. I had to take it off because it was like feathering and bleeding everywhere. I don't know if I need to line my lips, but it got everywhere. So I just had to take it off and then basically reapply the makeup around my mouth and put on lip balm, y'all. It just didn't work and I don't have time to experiment with it. Please leave in the comments any tips you have for making that shit work because it looked horrible on me. Um, I think I need to practice with that a lot more. <laughs> so anyway, I'm just going with my uh, homemade lip balm. I think it looks pretty good especially with my you know more dramatic eye so here's how I'm looking flaws and all I have a lot of texture on my skin and I think that's okay I look like a person I know sometimes this camera smooths out my skin more than it actually is so I hope you could really see 
the texture on my skin and stuff there. Okay, so I've got my makeup done. Um, my hair is dry, so I just let it, I washed it and I let it air dry. So I'm just gonna run a brush through it. Now I did buy um, something that I think might help with how thin it looks. And that is this. This was recommended to me by several people in the chat in my live stream. The L'Oreal Magic Root Cover Up. But I'm, I, I used it earlier before my shower and I thought it looked pretty good. I'm kind of scared to use it now because what if I fuck it up and I don't have time to wash my hair again? I'm scared, but I'm going to try it. Okay? God, wish me luck. And I also hope it doesn't rain on us. You're supposed to let it dry for one minute. And I didn't do it very heavily because I am afraid it's going to look bad. I don't know. And I'm afraid it's going to rain and like drip down my face and humiliate me. So I think I'm just going to leave it at that. I don't know if it helped very much, but I'm scared to do any more. Okay, I'll do one more. One more little squirt. I actually think that did help some. So after one minute, I'm going to brush my hair again. I'm gonna experiment with that more. It's just, I don't like to experiment right before a date when I don't have time to fix anything, you know? I should have been experimenting with this a long time ago. All right, now I'm gonna go and get my clothes and get dressed. Okay, y'all, I tried on all of my shirts and I feel like my pink moth shirt had the most arm coverage. And until he gets to know me better, I don't really wanna be flapping my bat wings around. Oh, there, that's better lighting. So I'm wearing, of course, you know what I'm wearing already. Uh, skinny jeans, Doc Martens, and my pink moth shirt, which I think looks really nice with my lip balm. So, I hope this is good enough for a casual first date. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. All right, y'all. I've got to feed the dogs real fast. Um, so, i got to get their bowls out and their food. I've got to leave in like 30 minutes. So, i got to feed them, take them for a walk, get my phone case together, get my purse together, and call my Uber. All right. Getting their food in their bowls here. They get half a can each every day of the science diet food, which they love. And then they eat their kibble throughout the day and they get treats as well. But this is just their dinner. Okay, so while they're eating, I'm gonna start working on getting my purse together and you'll see why. There we go, they're eating it up. They love that stuff. All right, let's go do my purse. All right, y'all, I hope you can see me okay. So I have my backpack purse, and then I have my fanny pack that Lodane gave me for the show. I really would like to take this, but I feel like it clashes. I need to get just a plain black fanny pack. So I need to transfer all my stuff into my big bag um, so I can bring that. So I got like my brush in here, um, my extra battery in case I need to charge my phone. Um, some lotion. Oh my God, this thing. I didn't get to film this one, but when we were at King Gizzard, when me, Lodane, and Jared were hanging out in the parking lot, um, this guy came up and said he was giving away these stickers, these King Gizzard stickers, and they go on your car. I got to put this on my car when I get it back. It's really freaking awesome, man. It's like a magnet sticker. So it's really going to do really well in the car. Um, yeah, he gave us all one. I thought that was so awesome. He said we were his last stop. And I've got like two lip balms in here. Um, I'll just scatter those about, I guess. And then my casino card. Guess I don't need that. Okay. And my wallet, of course. All right. So now that's done. The next thing I need to do is put my phone case on, take the dogs out. I'm running short on time, y'all. Check out my new phone case. Look at that. How cool is that? I hope it fits on here, okay? Let's so I can pop this old one off. Oh my God, it's 422 and I gotta be there at five and I haven't taken the dogs out yet. Oh, jeez. Okay. So here's my little tiny iPhone without a case and I'm gonna pop this on, on there, hopefully. Yes. Oh my God, there's my phone now, y'all. Check it out, I freaking love it. I'm gonna throw this piece of crap away and let's take the dogs out. All right, dogs, go potty. <laughs> go potty, come on. I'll take you for a long walk when we get home, but you gotta go right now because mama's gotta go on her date. They're not moving, come on. Let's go. 
There we go. Success. What about you, Morty? You gotta go? God, I'm already sweating out here, y'all. It's so humid. Y'all, my Uber's 10 minutes away. I'm gonna get there like five minutes early and I'm so freaking nervous right now. Oh my God. Um, really, really nervous about this. I am going to not vlog any of this because I'm not doing that on a first date to somebody, but I will vlog as soon as I get home tonight and let you guys know how it went. Wish me luck, okay? <laughs> nervous. Hey y'all, so it's actually the next day. I did not film when I got in for my date last night because it was really late. Um, so I just kind of wanted to tell you how it went in general. Um, first of all, I like this guy. He is really attractive, uh, more attractive than even his pictures were. He's very smart, very well-spoken, very nice and funny, and um, I like him. I And I hope I, that he wants to see me again. I like him and we had a really good time together. So we went and got our tarot cards read, which was very fascinating. In fact, the lady was like so spot on with my tarot reading dog's licking my arm. Um, she saw like, she saw that, that the past year of my life has been really terrible, but she also said that I'm on the right path and there's lots of transformation in my near future. And I felt like that was pretty accurate because I do feel like um, I'm changing, I'm moving on. She also said that she sees me moving on from past heartbreak, which I am. She told me a lot of other stuff that's kind of personal, but just in general, it was very positive. Um, lots of change and transformation in my future. And she said, I'm in a really good spot for a new relationship. Of course, you know, take these things with a grain of salt. You may or may not believe in psychic tarot readers, but um, I do. But as always, we always have free will and we can always change our future no matter what. So who knows, but it was nice to hear. And then, so she did his reading too. And he said she was a little off on some of his stuff. Uh, she did our tea leaves. She said that she saw me with three major careers in my life. So she said she thinks that I'm already on one of them and then I'm gonna have two more careers. And one of them is a career that doesn't even exist yet. I was like, wow, I can totally see myself getting into some career that doesn't exist yet that has to do with technology in the future. So that was pretty interesting. Who knows if it, it'll come true, but it was interesting. So that was really fun. And then we went out to eat at Rolando's, which is like my favorite restaurant downtown. We ate out on the patio, got some really nice food. And then we went to Maxine's for drinks and we just had a really great time. I had so much fun with him. And uh, then he texted me this morning and I told him I had fun. He said he had fun too. So yeah, so I guess we're just having fun right now and it's really nice. I feel like this has really helped me in my healing process. It's really shown me that there's hope, that there's potential, even if it doesn't work out with this guy, that there are people out there that I could date and I don't have to be looking for another Andrew, you know? Um, like me and this guy, we don't have any similar musical tastes at all. And I don't even care. I still like him. I think I just really needed to get out and meet people. Just meet different men and, like, see what's out there, you know? Um, so it's really kind of started to change my perspective on dating and moving on and the whole thing. And it's given me a lot of confidence, too. So I feel that it's positive overall. And I'm looking forward to continuing healing seeing this guy if he still wants to see me again I hope but if not I'm okay with that too like I'm at a place where I think I would be okay with that too I, I'd be disappointed but it's not gonna be the end of the world for me I know it might be hard to see but I do feel like I'm changing for the better and I think you're gonna see that in my coming vlogs I went a little wild I went a little off the rails um, I was devastated after what Andrew did to me obviously um, but I'm really feeling in my heart that I'm truly letting go and truly moving on. And I feel really good about that. And today I feel like I'm going to cook some food for myself. And I'm going to keep my apartment clean. And I'm going to go to the grocery store. And I'm going to start doing things for myself again. I'm going to start going out, taking the dogs to the park. And just doing things that make me happy again. Um, that's really where I want to start now. I feel like I'm finally starting on my own life. Um, it was hard to do that when I was being trickle-truthed by Andrew and all this back and forth and all the lies and everything. It was so hard for me to move on and I just couldn't see it in the moment. I couldn't see what was happening in the moment because I just wanted, you know, I wanted him so much. But anyway, that's all over with now and uh, I'm moving forward. The date went great. I, I like it couldn't have gone any better. It was wonderful and uh, I'll let you guys know, you know, if this relationship continues or not. So thank you so much for watching my vlog, getting ready with me, and uh, I will see you all in the next one. Bye!